Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about insignificant things today. Whoops. Insignificant because as the world is today and about all the things that are happening, the things I'm going to talk about seem are insignificant. I'm going to try to sort of go back to perhaps 2019 a mere five years ago when the world was different it hadn't changed to the to the same extent that uh, we see it now more clearly about power and the word and the way it is exercised it had been like that for a while, but we just didn't see it. I'm going to talk about insignificant things because they are insignificant <laughs> in what is happening at the moment, which we seem to be at the very edge of a precipice. Okay, let me tell you quite, uh, let me tell you just uh, something that happened not, not long ago. I was at Heathrow Airport and I was traveling to the United States. I hadn't traveled for quite a while. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of an advanced age now and I had traveled quite a bit in my life. And I suddenly grew tired of it. And uh, I hadn't actually gone to an airport for about, I don't know, seven years or something like that. So my daughter decided that, uh, you know, she, she wanted to pay for my trip to the United States and um, at Christmas. And uh, I was very glad and delighted and very grateful that she did that to spend Christmas with them. So anyway, I went to Heathrow Airport and the following thing happened. I was going through the uh, security thing, you know, when you put all your things on a tray and you're supposed to practically unrobe, <laughs> take your shoes off, your belt, everything else, you know. If I were younger, one day I would start stripping or something, but anyway. <laughs> better not so anyway I put all my things there and they were telling me to to take my shoes off okay so I did all that and then this uh, guy this gentleman just said to me copy picture copy picture copy picture I said what is he saying copy picture I didn't understand copy picture what copy picture copy picture he was he was actually shouting at me, copy picture. I didn't know what he meant. I, I, what, what picture? Uh, am I supposed to photocopy a picture, go somewhere and photocopy something, a picture? What picture? I didn't, I didn't know what he was saying. Copy picture, copy picture, he was shouting at me. And then, and then he pointed to a cubicle eventually and uh, he said copy picture picture oh okay so there was a drawing there with a man with a drawing like this and I was supposed to go into this cubicle and go like this like a criminal and uh, you know <laughs> and that is what he meant by copy picture I said oh okay so I'm, I'm supposed to imitate this drawing for some reason okay well Okay, security, all right, fine. When I came out of that cubicle, there was a lady with the, with the, you know, the scarf thing and so on, and uh, she was patting me and, and uh, I said, uh, you know, you should make it clear. I was, I was beginning to explain and she just went, She didn't say anything, she just made this gesture, you know, sort of go away <laughs> kind of thing. And I was deeply offended because they treat you so badly 
This, this was at Heathrow Airport in London. They treat you so badly when you go through this farce of taking your shoes off and everything, you know. Terrorism, oh, okay. Terrorism, all right. So I thought, oh my God, this this is this is not the way to treat a a, a passenger, you know, with such disrespect. I mean, talking like that and all this, you know. I said, I'm, I have to do something about this. I have to write a letter. I have to, I don't know, do something. Anyway, I didn't do anything. But I was deeply offended by the whole exercise. So. Anyway, a few days ago, I'm trying to, go hold, to get hold of my brother, and I can't. And I don't know what's going on, and is there, we're all advanced in age, so I thought, is there something wrong? What happened? I couldn't get hold of him. Anyway, eventually, yes, I got hold of him. And he, I said, you know, I was really worried that uh, something had happened. I couldn't, I, I couldn't telephone you. You were not answering. He said, no, no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's just that my telephone was stolen at Heathrow Airport. I said, what? What was it? Yes, he said. Um, you know, I went through these custom things where you're supposed to put things on the tray. And I just went through this whole thing. And then when I got to pick up my things, the telephone wasn't there. And I said, where's my telephone? No, 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 no one knew anything about it. Hold on, I put my telephone here. Where's my telephone? No, no, no. <laughs> they wave you off like this. What is going on at Heathrow? Is anyone paying attention to how customers are being treated there? I don't suppose my brother is the only one who lost something at this, you know, when you go through these things. Anyway, so he lost his telephone. No one knew anything about it. He uh, wrote uh, something. He filled in a form, nothing. He lost his telephone. It was stolen. By whom? By another customer? I don't know. Could it be that the people working there are actually stealing things? Is anyone looking into it, into this? I'm upset. <laughs> okay, so today I am in a shop. I go and pay and I pay by card, which I know I shouldn't do because I promised myself that I would use, I would use cash as much as possible because cash is being now is, is an enemy and they're trying to get rid of it and so on so pay cash pay cash anyway there I went to pay with my card so I went to my card and I see there that 25p 25 pence for those outside the United Kingdom is already included oh, well you're supposed to say if you don't do anything you pay whatever it is that you pay that uh, you know the 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 amount of the, the the goods that you that you bought are paid plus 25 30 pence or cents okay and that are already included you're supposed to actually say no i refuse and those 25 pence are supposed to go for charity so i see this and i said what's that and they said, oh, that goes to charity. And I said, no, I don't want to. And they said, well, then you have to click no. Shouldn't it be the, 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 the different way? Shouldn't it be, uh, you know, that you're supposed to tell me beforehand? Because how many people are just, you know, paying by card, going like this, and they don't even know? And the uh, the attendant was upset with me. Well, it goes to charity. And I said, well, <laughs> I have questions about that. First of all, which charity? Because there would be charities that I would agree to give 20 cents or 25p to, but, but other charities I wouldn't. I mean, by charity, what do you mean? There are some charities which are really businesses which don't pay taxes. They don't pay taxes because they're registered as charities. 
but they pay their uh, CEOs and their, you know, you know, a lot of money, hundreds of thousands in salary. So I have to know which charity you mean charity just like that to charity that is that is not right and a lot of people won't even notice so i i had to complain about it and they they got upset with me because i didn't want to give 25p to charity well no unless i know which charity is going to how do i know that they don't keep it to themselves how do i check that they actually give this money to some charity or other. And which charity? Anyway, so I was upset about that. Then I went to another shop. <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me, uh, do you need a bag? And I said, no, no, I don't need a bag. And then I looked into my handbag. No, I hadn't put my bag in, in the handbag. So I said, Sorry, yes, I think I do need a bag after all. I said, uh, how, how much is that bag? Five pence? And he said, no, no, that was years ago. Thirty, thirty pence. Thirty pence, that's, that's... Well, it's because of the environment. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we used to go to buy things in shops and the company would, was gracious enough to wrap the stuff and give you a bag to carry the goods that you, that you have bought. All of a sudden, oh, the environment, the environment, net zero, okay, you shouldn't use so many bags, so uh, if you use this, uh, this extra bag, 5p, okay. I never bought it. I mean, the idea, I always thought that it was, um, I imagine the companies actually saying, how much do we, but, but I am a little bit cynical about it all, okay, but, uh, but I saw them sort of in a, in a uh, meeting, you know, saying, how much do we spend on bags, giving it, giving them free to customers? Well, you know, if we charge them for them, we could make so much money. Oh, but the customers would not like that. No, they wouldn't. But what if we say that it is to protect the environment? Oh, yes. Then they would say, yes, of course. Five P. Okay, five pence. And now, <laughs> and now we have to pay for the things that they used they used to give us for free and it's increasing and in some places it costs one pound because of the environment really how much money are they making out of this so I was upset then what else I'm waiting at the bus stop <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting at the bus stop. So, because I live in Oxford and it's uh, such a t tourist uh, city, okay, there are lots of uh, of people from young people, especially from other countries. They come, you know, from 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 Spain, from from Italy, from everywhere. Chinese people everywhere. Okay. And a lot of them come for two or three weeks to Oxford and, uh, you know, they, and, all right, so they learn English in two weeks, whatever. Okay. But the thing is that at the, you're going to see, you, I'm old, okay? <laughs> and things upset me sometimes that would not ex uh, upset me when I was younger, but... You're waiting in line, as you're supposed to, at the bus stop, okay? And all these kids come, and they don't stay in line. They are right there where the bus is going to stop. And the bus comes, and off they go, and they don't respect the queue. 
So I'm always getting into trouble because of this. I have to go around giving sermons and lectures to young people. Okay, so I was the first one on the line. I had been there for 25 minutes. And all of a sudden, these kids come. And they just, and I, say, and I, and I go to them and I say, hey, 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 hey. We've been waiting here for half an hour. You're supposed to go to the back of the queue here. What, what, what? They don't know. What did you mean? And I said, well, this is a good... So I started giving a lecture <laughs> to people who, are not, who don't want to listen to it. And I said, look, this is the question of civic education. It's not difficult to understand. You come to the bus stop. You see all these people waiting in line, okay? You cannot just go first. It's a question of civic education. <sighs> so I go around getting... <laughs> so I get upset. I won't tell you how many other things happened today. Why am I getting upset about all these silly things? It's a question of civic education. They don't teach them at schools to respect others. Anyway, I said it was insignificant and it is because the world could be at the beginning of World War Three, and I'm worrying about plastic bags. But I'm, I still get upset about it. Ah, <laughs> oh. okay. I'm going to go back and uh, relax and have a glass of wine, I think just wanted to share with you my frustrations small as they are <laughs> do you have any frustrations everyday frustrations let me know in your comments bye bye